Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to use the chat set Atra mod to quickly add new weapons to the D&D 5th edition character sheet. And this is great if you've got a homebrew weapon or if you've got a weapon from a third party source that isn't included in the Roll20 compendium, you can quickly add that to your player's character sheet without slowing down gameplay. Now, as always, because we're using mods, a pro account will be required in order to do this. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So here we are in my game, and as you can see, I've got my bard Fladaria here, and I've got her character sheet open. And Fladaria has been exploring this lost temple, and has just come across this magic sword. And if I open up the sword's token, I can see in the GM notes all the stats that I've got for that sword. And so instead of going in and manually keying all of the sword's data into the character sheet, what I want to do is create a chat set Atra command that I can just copy, paste, and run, and it will automatically add all the information about this sword into Fladaria's character sheet. So let's see how to do it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is install chat set Atra into our game. All you need to do is go into your game settings page and in the Roll20 mod library here, just start typing chat set Atra and there we go. We'll scroll down here and click add script. Now chat set Atra comes to us from a user named Jacob. Jacob, thank you so much for everything you do for the community. This is a wonderful script and I include it in pretty much all of my games. All right, so now that we've got chat set Atra loaded into our game, I'm going to bring up my trusty notepad window here. And the first thing we're going to do is type in the command set Atra. That means that we're using chat set Atra. And then the next thing we're going to do is type in dash dash S E L. That means that we're going to be setting attributes for whichever token or tokens are selected. So we'll have Fladaria's token selected when we run this command. And that way roll 20 knows who we're adding this particular item to. Our next piece here is we're going to type in dash dash repeating underscore attack underscore create and then underscore ATK name pipe the thorn of Thor. Now at this point you may be wondering where all this stuff just came from because you don't see anything that looks like that on the character sheet. So a couple of things. First, there is a page of documentation that I will link to down in the video description that talks about a lot of these behind the scenes sort of aspects to the fifth edition character sheet. But the other piece that we're going to talk about is how you can inspect the character sheet to figure out what all of these different attributes are named so that you'll know what they're called and how to work with them. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start by clicking on the little plus icon right here in the attacks and spell casting section. And this brings up the empty space where you can manually key in the information about the weapon or attack that you are creating. Now what I'm going to do is press F12 on my keyboard and that opens up these developer tools. And these are way more involved than we would really need to go into for purposes of this video. But just know that these tools allow you to view information about the page that you're on. And they give you this inspector tool that you can use to hover over various items in your web page to learn more about it. So we're going to hover over the name field here in the character sheet. And when I click on that, it locks my selection. And so when you come over here into the panel on the right, you see that the input type here is called text and its name. Let me make this a little bit wider is Atra underscore attack name, which corresponds to this right here. So the name of this attribute ATK name is what we're calling here in the chat set Atra command. Now you may say, okay, well, where did this repeating attack thing come from? If we go up a little bit, you'll see that the whole panel that we're inside is called repeating attack. And so we are creating an element inside of the repeating attack section. And the item that we are setting to start with the attribute that we're setting that is, is called ATK name. And we're going to call it the thorn of Thor. 
Now, a bunch of these items are already checked by default. So we already have this set to be an attack. We already have our proficiency bonus being applied. And we already have a checkbox here for the initial damage that's going to be dealt. So I'm not going to change any of those. I'm not going to mess with any of that. The next thing I'm going to adjust is the attack here. This is setting which ability score this attack is related to. And because the Thorn of Thor is a dexterity based item, I want to set this little drop down here to dex. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the inspector tool again. We're going to go to that little drop down. We're going to click on it. And we see that that ability is called Atra underscore ATK Atra underscore base. It's just one thing to mention, you don't need to include the ATTR prefix when you're creating something, uh, chat set Atra just handles that for us. So repeating attack, create attack Atra base. Now we want to set that to be dexterity. So you might think that we would type in DEX, which is the exact selection from the dropdown. And it's totally understandable why you would think that because that's what's being presented here, but that's not actually what the value needs to be. If we come into this element right here, you can see that it has a little right facing arrow. That means this is expandable. So let's click on that and let's come through and we're going to find dex is right here, but the value for dex is actually at sign curly brace dexterity underscore mod. So we would do like this. However, because of the way that the roll 20 chat parser works, we can't include at signs. So what we're going to do here is we're going to backspace this and we're going to make this slash AT. And then we're also going to put in another command at the very beginning here called dash dash replace. And what that's doing is it's going to say, okay, anytime you encounter this specific identifier slash at replace it with the actual at sign under the hood, and then the command will work properly. Now you may have noticed that I'm not putting line returns into this particular command. I'm doing everything on a single line. I'm going to explain more about that in a minute, but just know for right now that you're going to want to put all of your command onto a single line in order for it to work properly. Okay. Now we also want to put in our magic bonus here because this is a plus one weapon. So I'm going to click on the inspector again, and we're going to come down here to magic bonus. I'm going to click on that. And we can see that the name is Atra underscore ATK magic. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to add that and I'm going to set that to be a one because I want this to be a plus one weapon. Okay, fantastic. Now we're going to move on to damage and you guessed that it's the same approach. We're going to hover over the damage field here and the damage field is called DMG base. So we're going to put in whatever the base damage that our weapon deals here. And for me, this is going to be a D eight. This, Thorn of Thor is kind of like a rapier, but it's got a little more heft to it. So it does a little bit more damage. So damage base for that is going to be a D eight. And then we need the damage attribute to go along with that. And that's going to be very similar to what we did a minute ago with the attack attribute. Again, the damage attribute is going to be called DMG ATTDR. It's also a drop down, So it's probably going to be exactly the same as the other one, but we want to double check just to be sure. And we see, yes, it is at dexterity mod again. So we're going to use that exact same syntax as we saw before. Let's get that in there. So we're creating the damage attribute slash at dexterity mod, which means we're going to set that to be dex. Now we want to do our damage type. So again, we're going to use the inspector to click on that. And we can see that the damage type is called Atra underscore DMG type. And I want to set that to be piercing damage because this is, like I said, like a rapier. OK, and now what I want to do is check this damage to box because that's what's going to tell the system that we're going to deal additional damage besides the piercing damage from the rapier. We're also going to deal some thunder damage as well. So I want this box checked. So what I'm going to do now is with the box checked, I'm going to use the inspector tool to select the box. I can see that the box is called Atra underscore DMG two flag. So we're going to set that. There we go. So DMG two flag. And then we want to set that DMG two flag to curly brace, curly brace damage equals one closing curly braces. DMG two flag equals one. We want to set it to this value right here. This is what's going to make sure that the box 
gets checked for us. So this is what it's going to look like. And incidentally, this is the reason why we're doing all of this command on a single line. Because if you try to put a multi-line chat set attr command together, you may have seen this from other videos I've done, sometimes you'll have a command where we do set attr and then a pair of open curly braces and then a whole bunch of things inside. Well, the problem is the system's going to find these closing curly braces and think we're at the end of the command. And as a result, not everything that you set up will be included. So to avoid that problem, what we're going to do is just put everything on a single line and then all is well. So DMG2 flag being set damage equals one and DMG2 flag equals one means that we will be including the damage to output when we roll damage. Now we need to follow the same type of process for the amount of damage that we're dealing. So we're going to come here to damage twos text box and we can see that that is called DMG to base. And so that's how much basically how much thunder are we going to deal? And I'm going to deal say one D six worth of thunder damage there. And then of course we need to specify the type of damage. So again, same process as what we did earlier for the slashing, as we can see here, DMG to type. That's going to be just like what we did earlier. And again, we're going to make that thunder. And then finally, we've got our description. And, and this isn't required to be included, of course, but you can put a little bit of fun flavor text in here. So let's just see what that's called. And that's going to be attack underscore DESC. So we'll set that. And let's say that you lash out with the fury of Thor. Sure, why not? OK. So now we've got our command. Let's go ahead now, let's copy all this. Again, all of this needs to be on the same line. You'll notice here I have my line numbers turned on. If I put this here, this is line two. So everything here is on one line in my command. So let's go ahead, let's grab all of that, copy it. I'm going to close my browser tools here. I'm just gonna press F12 so I get all that screen real estate back. I've got Fladaria's token selected. I'm going to paste in the command, press enter. We get a message from chat set Atra telling us all of the attributes that have been set. And now let's scroll down. We can see here they are. You see the thorn of Thor. So our title is here. Our attack is going to be dexterity. We have the magic bonus of one being set. Our damage is a D8 plus our dexterity modifier. It's piercing and we're doing a D6 of thunder damage with the description of you lash out with the fury of Thor. So let's go ahead, let's take this for a spin. We're just gonna click on it. There we go, we've got our roll. If we hover over the roll, we see that we have a D20, plus our dexterity, plus our proficiency, plus the one from the magic. So everything is being added properly. We see our description, you lash out with the fury of Thor. Let's roll damage. And we see that we roll 11 piercing damage. So that's a D8, which is our base damage, plus our dexterity plus one from the magic bonus. So we rolled 11 damage there, and then we rolled the three thunder damage. And the piercing and thunder are both labeled properly. So now when our character finds this sword, we just run this command, it's on their character sheet, and they can begin attacking with it right away. They don't need to wait for us to go through and manually key everything in, and they don't have to go through and manually key everything in. It's just a really nice, fast way to add these new attacks into your player's character sheet. So there you have it. That's how you can use Chat Set Atra to quickly add new weapons to the D&D 5th Edition character sheet. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.